Okay, day three, um, and my energy's back, as suspected. I'm running on ketones, my brain loves that. Um, working on the new book, lots of energy. Because uh, you go through these, these cycles. Uh, day one, you're getting rid of all your glycogen. Day two, you're switching over to fat cells. So that transition period is kind of woozy and tired and kind of disorienting. It's normal. Day three, back at it again, mostly. And you're a little tired, but you know, I expect to take some baths during the day and some naps and stuff. Take a magnesium bath and, you know, help the body with the, the flush inwardly to flush the lymphatic system out to get rid of the toxins. Nothing goes down the GI tract, but things end up in the GI tract that way to get rid of. So, you know, enema, first couple of days or three or four days into it, probably a good idea. Um, and again, this is a therapy. So there are some people that are ready to do seven and they can just breeze right through it like I tend to do. Um, yesterday was kind of uh, difficult compared to the rest of the dry fast I've had. Some people have a whole hard time into day two and three and four. And if you're getting to the point where you want to quit, quit. You can always come back and do it again. And what you've done is cumulative anyway, so you've done some beneficial stuff in autophagy. If it's too difficult to stick with it, don't stick with it. This is something you can always do through your life and be able to get to the longer ones later. It's not critical you do it right now. It's critical that you do it though. Again, this is the whole idea, is that if you can do just get rid of all these toxins and these, these metabolic byproducts. All the metabolites from tryptophan and tyrosine, for instance, they mimic CoQ10 and they build up. So as they build up, you make less CoQ10. CoQ10 means no, you know, less ATP producing mitochondria. So you see where I'm going with this? If you relieve your body of these stored up toxins, which are very difficult to get, impossible to get rid of on a nightly sleep, uh, and impossible to get rid of from all these different methodologies and all these intermittent fasting and all this stuff. Great for when you're in the eating cycle to intermittent fast, but, but you've got to drop eating out from time to time. And when you do that, all those metabolic byproducts are able to get out of the body. That's that brown sludge and the weird stuff that comes out at the end of it, seven or eight days of a dry fast. Your body is able to finally get rid of it. And you'll find out when you do more and more fast that your body will look forward to it because it knows what to expect. It's, oh, wow, I've got a way to get rid of the toxins. It really thinks that way down the fundamental level because there's another entity down there too, your microbiome. So it's looking forward to getting that fast going to get rid of all these bad actors in the gut and the skin and the respiratory tract and the urinary tract and all the other places on your body because you live with this huge microbiome that provides a lot of your essential happy chemicals, a lot of your essential living chemicals. Couldn't exist without them. People who try to have a sterile life end up sterile, dead. <laughs> so the idea here is go ahead and do it fast. If you can go with seven with me, that's great. Um, watch them anyway, even if you can't, because I'll show you how to end the fast, how to go through the recovery period, what you eat, how much exercise you do, if any, and then a little bit later, a little bit later, and then when you start taking Fizzitin and the other things while you're eating, again, till you fast again. So that you have this ability to regenerate, restore tissue, keep that tissue restored and keep those stem cells pumping out those paracrine signals, which make all the adjacent cells they've been plugged into act like younger cells. So that you can restore your body to a youthful type of metabolism. You know, the reason people are live so well and are so youthful in a young body because they're inside a young body and that young body has very little damage and very little toxins and all that stuff. It's clean and lots of protein access. This is what we're trying to return back to. And I see this already. My hair's growing. I've got dark hair growing in the back. I mean, all this stuff is happening. And it's just a matter of doing it over time. Now I'm 69, so it, which means I probably have to do double fast a year for a while now to catch up, to, to back it up in time, to you know, pull that car away from the cliff. Even though you're always driving towards the cliff, this thing gives you the ability to back it up. So that's the deal. Uh, third day, fourth day, probably a little tireder, I imagine. Uh, judging on my history of fast. But right now I'm feeling good, got my energy back, running on ketones, wasting away the fat cells. I mean, I lost another three pounds last night and uh, it's great. I mean, it, it's not the way to lose weight, but you end up losing the toxins, okay? You're only getting your fat stores back after a, fat, after a fast. If you're really not careful and eat a lot of sugars, you eat a lot of fat back. But your body will restore itself to its normal homeostasis before you were in the fasting cycle. But it will then have clean fat if you eat clean food. You won't have toxins in it if you don't get exposed to toxins. So then your body isn't hampered by these 
weird frequencies, these molecules are very damaging to uh, biochemical reactions. Um, so that's day three. Uh, stay tuned, I'll be doing day four. Uh, contact me on the Phoenix Protocol on, on YouTube, and uh, you can ask questions, and I'll be monitoring this as I do the fast. So, see you later.